High school romance. Unexpected betrayal. The swift hand of justice. Here, on our first installment of Video Music. Hello, I'm Bryce Becker. Tonight, the Modern Electric begin their ambitious journey of making a music video each month. It all starts with the making of great expectations. Got this plan this upcoming year. Let's make each song yeah, each have song its time. Deserved a visual counterpart. Yeah, have its time in the spotlight. And recording. Yeah, start background. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. We did a lot of research for this one, where we watched a ton of high school movies like Cruel Intentions, Heather's, Clueless, Ten Things I Hate About You, Scream, American Pie, Days and Confused, Bring It On, Freaks and Geeks, the show. Virgin Suicides. Eddie John Hughes. Oh yeah, the classic of the Breakfast Club. Pretty, pretty Hank. Go ahead. Yeah. Girl Formation, go. Action. All of those movies, they have that, that three girl squad formation. Main, like, antagonist in the front center with her two, like, cronies. Yeah. Kind of like Taylor Swift has, right? Yeah, now. squad goals. Our lead character, Cody. She was a mean girl, you know? She, She's nice. No, she was a mean girl. Oh, but she's a nice person. Hi, I'm Cody Stankowski. Uh, I play the popular girl in Great Expectations music video for Modern Electric. I easily put on half a tube of lipstick, and I probably apply half a tube of lipstick in four years top. Like, there was, there was a lot. My lips were probably permanently stained for about a month. Um, I do want to say that how the video came out um, does not reflect how the video was made, and I think that that's actually a huge compliment because with such little resources that we had, I think that it was actually such an awesome job. So one of the biggest struggles in making this video yeah. was getting a uh, location. Yeah. That seemed almost impossible with like zero budget. And for it to be our own alma mater was pretty cool. Yeah, we was South High School, Go South Revs. We spent four years of school there. And you know, there's a lot of rules, and now there's zero rules, and we have the entire school to ourselves. A lot of walking around in the hallway, we were skateboarding around in the hallway. Don't say that. Smoking in the bathroom. Don't say any of that. Rolling! <laughs> mean mugget! Mean mugget! Ooh, Alan! Mean mugger! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mean mugget! Good over here, that was great. Mean mugs! Oh, uh, one of the extras was... He was all in tie-dye and... Was he wearing a Grateful Dead shirt? Oh, yeah. yeah. And his idea was just to, like, when we passed by him in the slow pan for him to just be, like, stoned out of his mind. And, uh, so now we get to show him, because he didn't make it in the video, show the clip now. <laughs> that was Brad. <laughs> the stoner. That was hilarious. He was our first pick for the jock character. He did great. He just, like, simulated into that role so seamlessly. I thought, like, he was the guy that I always hated in high school. As soon as he put on, like, that jacket. Mm. But yeah, he was great. I hated him in high school, too. I didn't even know him in high school. Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch it, I just think of me like falling into Austin's arms or whatever by the locker and stuff when she walked by. <laughs> I can't watch her again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, and Matt, you can come in now. No, our own Hey, what's up? Hi. I saw you talking to that, like, that one loser, you know, so I just thought I'd come in and, like, make everything a little bit better for you, you know? But, yeah. Uh, so, one of the ways I can make this better, do you want to feel my arm or something? Because I feel like I threw a lot of touchdowns for you last night, and I don't know, like, like maybe it feels a little bigger than it did yesterday, you know? So, okay. Yeah. Okay. When we were filming uh, him planting flowers in a locker, as soon as he was done, he, like, like kiss the locker out of nowhere. Yeah, he did, had some pretty good improvisations there. And whenever he, it, as soon as he was done, the whole room erupted with laughter because like he was just taking his character to the next level. It's, it was so good, we decided not to put it in the music video. It's in the music video. Oh, have you seen it? No. I don't watch my own work. I'm like Johnny Depp. <laughs> You're not like Johnny Depp. 
Oh no, because Alex told me to smell something out of the locker, and that was a no-go. Like, we did that, and that was just too awkward or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Just kind of did it. I thought it looked, uh, it like fit the part, I guess, you know? It's like you see someone's locker. The person has no idea. It was a girl. It was a flowery, girly book bag. If you're out there, let us know, and we'll give you a free t-shirt. Oh, Mike. The most awkward scene I think we did though was like laying on the piano and having to look at you guys like into the camera with a rose in my mouth or whatever for so long. It was like a, I don't know. So I just remember like like turning around kind of when you were talking. And everyone just like taking my clothes, just putting on the red robe. Wait, were you wearing anything under the robe? I can't remember. Just underwear. Just underwear. It was breezy. So you are like doing good right now. Yeah. You could do that. All right. Hands back down. Uh, no, 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 you keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> keep it up, man. Don't lose it. <laughs> Lay back down. <laughs> Drop it. Sit up. Pound it. <laughs> we needed a professor or some type of authority figure. It was just like a teacher, right? Principal. And Mike just automatically looks the role. Yeah, he dresses like that in real yeah. life. He's got the tweed jacket, very collegiate, very professor-like. I don't know, he just has that presence. That buzzkill presence. Yeah, he's just a real downer, you know how like... I mean, that's kind of like how he is in real life, too. Total buzzkill, yeah. that guy, Mike O'Brien. I remember trying to tell him what to do, and he's like, I know what to do. Like, no, he's... Mike is the most natural-born actor out of the four of us. Out of the modern life. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm a really bad actor, too, so... <clears throat> yeah, Garrett acts like Kramer. <laughs> Would you be in a music video again if yes, we Yes, definitely. I'll do guys, I'll do anything you guys ask me to do, honestly. Whatever. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I'll, I'll wear a robe again. That's fine. Like, I don't know. It's something you don't get to do every day being, I don't know, 20 years old or whatever. Your friend's older brother's in a great band. You get to be in a music video. It's pretty awesome. So, We're the cinematic pop and rock band. If we're not owning up to that title, putting out cinematic material visually, I, you know, I don't think we deserve the title. And I think... It was like our way of really kind of proving and making a point that this is part of the, the band's identity. I just can't help this. <laughs> I think if it was just always my vision, it would be okay. Horrible. It would, it would be it, horrible. It would be okay. Or if it was Garrett's only vision, it would be okay. But because we argue and challenge each other so much that it pushes the end the product? Yeah, the end product to be so much more stronger. Um, more stronger. Much more stronger. Hashtag more stronger. Squad goals. Oh.